This is Lenovo ThinkPad 4th generation X1 Yoga. Let me show you the model number. It's such a nice design. Graphite color slim. One of the top processor with it. So that's the actual model number for generation ThinkPad X1 Yoga. So today in this video, I'm going to enable the USB boot in EVFI environment due to reinstall Windows 10 or 11, whatever you would like, regardless, the same procedure. Okay. So let's connect the bootable Windows 10 thumb drive in this case. And don't forget to connect your charger. If you don't know how to create the bootable UEFI installer, then you can see the video link would be the description. So press the power button straight away. You're going to press enter button and you're going to see the instruction which one says if you press F1, it's going to take you to the BIOS setup. Normally, Lenovo ThinkPad, most of them comes with Novo button, especially the IdeaPad. But this time they kept the same design. When you interrupt by pressing the enter button, it takes you directly to the BIOS. So we're going to get into config section from there. First thing is that USB. So make sure USB has to be enabled. As you can see, this is blue and highlighted that indicate this is already enabled. Now we're going to go to startup security. From security section, we're going to go for secure boot, which is most important for EVFI boot anyway. So it has to be enabled. As you can see, if you click again, it's going to be disabled, which is grayed out. If you click again, it's going to be blue highlighted and enable. So keep it like that. And then we're going to find out TPM, the security chip. Let's find it somewhere here. That's the one. Okay. Leave it enable. This one would extend the security for your ThinkPad. Okay. Once you're done, pretty much that's all. Now we're going to go to startup section, which is right here to the main sub menu on the left. And as you can see, it says network boot. This is not important. You can leave it as it is. Okay. Mistakenly, I choose USB CD. It doesn't make sense. Now, if you go back to startup, you're going to find temporary boot options. It's going to show you all the boot priority list. Okay. By the way, this is touch enable uh, machine. So you can use your finger to go to right and left and select. So here is the thing. The boot priority option, you can just click and drag. For some case, it doesn't work. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure if I do a couple of restart, it's going to work. So let's say if you would like to choose uh, the USB at the top priority list, then you just need to click it, highlight it, and then drag all the way from down to the top to select it as a fast boot choice. Don't worry if it doesn't work like mine then you can have another option. What are you going to do? We're just going to save these changes by pressing F10. And then when the system restart, we will press the enter button again. So it would interrupt and give us the instruction on the screen that if we press F12, it's going to take us directly to the temporary boot option. So we don't need to change in here. Let's do it. So press F10 ready for pressing the enter button as soon as you see any light on the screen and follow the instruction it says f12 for temporary boot do that now it's going to take you directly to the temporary boot option that you can choose easily from here so i can see my bootable usb thumb drive on the list i'm going to select it and hit enter and that's game over you know so let's click it or Hit the enter button or click like that and it's going to load up from your bootable usb thumb drive but here is the one thing i found most of the cases i've seen many comments into uh, this sort of video section that that says hey my bootable usb thumb drive is not working i tried everything follow the same steps but i'm not successful would you please help so let me give you the core point okay the most common uh, misunderstanding in that point. So what happened when you create any bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive, make sure 
when you create the partition, you must need to know what you are doing, okay? So if you do MBR, that would be legacy. If you do GPT, that would be UEFI. That's what you have to maintain. Rest everything should be fine, okay? So here we go. We can see the Windows setup page, which is pretty simple. And I believe you do know. It's not too difficult to do that, okay? And I can see the pixel has changed. As you can see, the screen is not that, you know, good pixels in there because this is the window setup page and also the touch is a little bit funny at that point might be sometimes the touch screen wouldn't work because of the driver missing but as soon as you finish the installation that would be fine here is the most important thing make sure before you delete those partition you back up your data because if you delete it you're gonna lose everything so be careful i just want a single partition i don't like many partition in the system this is i really hate it so i'm going to delete all of them one by one and it's going to create a single partition for the entire drive okay but if you'd like to create more than one you're most welcome you can do that you can just choose the amount by clicking new i'm going to show you how to do all right as you can see there is the single partition now if you click on new it's going to give you the option to do that like this now you can customize the size easily and you can do apply okay now he's going to create one more and then another allocated one i'm going to install the windows in it or you can press new again to create another so hit next your job is done now he's going to copy all the files and folders to the directory and then he's going to update install all the features and everything and then it's going to finalize the setup and after all it's going to give you a fresh windows okay so stay with me let's fast forward the video just to see end of it if it is successful or not So finally it seems everything is fine. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to leave your comment if you do have any question and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.